Hi guys, in today's video, we will dive into controversy between OpenAI and DeepSeek. Then we will explore how China is pulling ahead in the AI race with its new advanced AI models. But that's not all guys. We will also see how OpenAI is responding to DeepSeek with its latest O3 model and deep research. And guys, just when we thought things couldn't get wilder, Google dropped Gemini 2.0 models and its most powerful AI on budget yet. And to top it all off, we will end the video with brand new AI tools that are changing the game right now. So guys, let's get started. So guys, let's start the video with controversy between DeepSeek and OpenAI. OpenAI says that DeepSeek distilled knowledge from OpenAI's model, essentially siphoning off outputs from GPT to train its own systems. OpenAI's terms of service explicitly say you cannot use their outputs to build a competing product. If Deep DeepSeek ignored that it could face lawsuits alleging IP theft and breach of contract. Interestingly, OpenAI itself has been criticized for scraping vast amount of internet data without direct permissions. Because of this, some are calling OpenAI hypocritical for complaining about misuse of its data. Also, recent news and reports indicate that several governments and agencies have taken steps to restrict or ban the use of DeepSeek, especially on government websites and devices over national security, data privacy, and potential espionage concerns. Now talking about how China is getting ahead in the AI race. After DeepSeek R1, DeepSeek dropped one more AI model, Janus Pro. This is a 7 billion parameter multimodal model that can both see images and generate them. And guess what? It's completely free, open source and runs on your own hardware. DeepSeek claims that Janus Pro beats Stability AI's model and OpenAI's DALI and it was number one trending repository on GitHub when it was launched. It can understand images like this meme, it can turn diagrams into a real Python code and it can generate images all in one model. And guys, if you think only DeepSeek is building foundational model, you are totally wrong. Alibaba released Quen 2.5 Max, which outperforms GPT 40, Claude 3.5 Sonnet, and Llama 3. Quen 2.5 Max beats DeepSeek V3 in coding and reasoning tasks using 40 to 60 percent less resources. This model can code, search the web in real time, and analyze documents like PDF and images, and also extract key insights from them. Quen also integrates content generation capabilities like creating text, images, and videos. China did not stop there, guys. Moonshot AI, one more Chinese company, released their AI model, Kimi K1.5. This real-time AI assistant outperformed GPT-4 and Claude 3.5 Sonnet on multiple AI benchmarks. Kimi scored 96.2 on Maths 500, which is higher than GPT-4. 94 percentile on code forces and outperforms GPT-4 by up to 550 percent in reasoning and problem solving. Kimi K1.5 is completely free and it brings real-time web search, file analysis and advanced chain of thought reasoning to the table. It has 120k token context window which means it can remember and process large amount of info at once making it one of the most powerful AI assistant available today. Apart from this, guys, China also dropped OmniHuman 1, an AI tool that can make a realistic video just from a single image. Have a look. What would art be like without emotions? It would be empty. What would our lives be like without emotions? They would be empty of values. This AI is developed by ByteDance, the parent company of TikTok. It takes a single photo and uses advanced AI to generate the entire video. It can create everything from TikTok videos to a fully blown cinematic videos. The craziest part is the gestures look so natural without any awkward or robotic movements. And the lip sync is so perfect that it looks like a real person is talking and moving. Here are some other examples. When I am alone, I sit and dream and when I dream my words are missing. And just explore all the musical theater options out there, but don't just stick for the song that everyone thinks is amazing. Back in the... Yes, I would love to talk about something important and think about an idea worth sharing. So guys, to summarize, China released DeepSeek R1, DeepSeek Janus Pro, Quen 2.5, Kimi K1.5 and OmniHuman 1. All these things show that guys, China is completely dominating in the AI arena. Now let's see how US is responding to all this. In response to DeepSeek, OpenAI dropped O3 Mini. It's one of the most advanced model yet. It is the best AI model for coding tasks with 92% accuracy and 2130 ERO score. 
and it also outperforms earlier model O1 in maths and science tests. And the best part is guys, it thinks before it speaks. It gives you explanation for every step it is taking and you can choose the level of thinking between low, medium or high reasoning models based on your task. It gives lightning fast responses which is 24 times faster than O1 Mini. And this model is rated for medium autonomy risk which means it is one of the most independent AI models OpenAI has ever released. And guess what? The cost of O3 model is comparable to DeepSea. OpenAI also released their deep research. This AI could think deeply, browse the web and give you a fully researched report just like an analyst. Unlike regular AI, deep research takes its time, sometimes 5, 10 or even 30 minutes to find the most accurate and up-to-date information for you. It asks clarifying questions, browses articles, analyzes images and tables and compiles a fully cited formatted report for you. It even tells you how many sources it has analyzed, sometimes over 30 different websites so that you know exactly where your information is coming from. Performance wise, it outperforms previous models on complex research tasks, scoring 26.6% on humanity's latest exam, a major AI benchmark for expert reasoning. For comparison, OpenAI's latest O3 scores just 13% and DeepSeek scores 9.4% on the same test. If you need to research a business trend for your new startup idea or find the best keys or analyze scientific papers, Deep Research is the best tool for you. Google also has a similar product called as Google Deep Research, which pretty much does all the things which OpenAI Deep Research does. Now talking about Google, Google rolled out three new Gemini 2.0 models. Number one, Gemini 2.0 Flash, which is now generally available, and Gemini 2.0 Flashlight, an even more efficient version of Flash. And finally, Gemini 2.0 Pro, their top of the line state of the art model. And there's a bonus guys, the Gemini 2.0 Flash thinking model, which adds extra on the fly reasoning during inference, just like OpenAI's O1 and O3. Both Flash and Flashlight models come with an impressive 1 million token context window, while the Pro model comes with a whopping 2 million tokens. And soon both Flash and Pro will be capable of outputting not just text but audio and images too. And the best part is guys pricing. Gemini 2.0 Flash is priced at just 10 cents per million token. To put that into perspective, for input, DeepSeek costs 14 cents per million token. GPT-4 API costs about $2.5 per million token. OpenAI's O1 model runs at $15 per million token and Claude 3.5 Sonnet is around $3 per million tokens. And when you look at the output cost, Gemini 2.0 Flash comes in a roughly at 40 cents per million tokens compared to $15 for other models. For developers looking to maximize performance while minimizing the cost, Gemini 2.0 is the best choice. If you're building with a large language model API and need powerful AI on budget, these Gemini models might be the best road. Also, if you want to try out all these new models, Google is offering free access to all these Gemini models via aistudio.google.com. Whether it is Gemini 2.0 Flash, Flashlight Pro, or even experimental models, you can play around and see firsthand the power of these advanced AI models. Next guys, Paris-based Mistral AI, founded just two years ago, launched its open source LayChat Assistant. It is powered by world's fastest inference engine, which responds with up to 1000 words per second. This company is endorsed by French President Emmanuel Macron, who has frequently cited Mistral AI as the testament to Europe's capabilities in the AI arena. Arthur Mensch, the CEO of Mistral AI, highlighted a need for an European alternative to Chinese and American offerings, saying that his ultimate goal was to make AI more open and more accessible to everyone. Key features of LayChat include number one, high speed responses. It delivers answers up to 1000 words per second. Number two, multimodal capabilities. Number three, real time web search. Number four, image generation. And number five, code interpretation. LayChat is available on web browsers and has a mobile app for iOS and Android devices. Finally guys, Pika Labs rolled out a couple of incredible features Pika Scenes and Pika Editions. Firstly, Pika Scenes. Pika Scenes let you upload an image of your pet and the AI turns that static photo into a dynamic video. Imagine your pet doing something very unexpected and entertaining. Here are some clips. Next guys, Peak Edition lets you take any real life video and an image and the AI figures out how to naturally integrate that image into your video. The results can be hilarious and unexpected guys, here are some clips.
that's it for today guys subscribe to our channel to stay updated with the latest ai news